Hello everyone, how are you all? And I'm back with a new reading lesson for my students who are always asking me to provide them with a perfect, easy reading lesson. So here I am with an easy reading lesson for my beginners student. So the book I'm using here is Imagine One Oxford Read and Imagine. And the reading lesson is Rainforest Rescue. So we will read about Rainforest Rescue. So before starting my lesson, I would like you to know what characters do we have in this reading lesson. So we have Ben and then we have Rosie. These two are brothers and sisters. So he says, hello, my name is Ben. Hello, my name is Rosie. They are introducing themselves and he is introducing his grandpa. Ben is introducing his grandpa. This is grandpa. So we can see here the grandpa is here. So he is the grandpa of Ben and Rosie and Ben and Rosie are the grandchildren of grandpa. Rosie says, this is grandpa's van. It's fantastic. So grandpa also has a van. Okay, let's move on. So as I explained earlier, Ben is Rosie's brother and Rosie is Ben's sister. And these two are brother and sister. This is grandpa. So he is grandpa for Ben and Rosie and Ben and Rosie are grandpa's grandchildren. Grandpa also has a robot whose name is Clunk. Okay, then we also have Alice who is Rosie's friend. So these characters we will see or these people we will see in this reading lesson. Now let's read. I am hungry, says Grandpa. What fruit do we have? We have apples and bananas, says Clunk. Here you are. No, thank you, says Grandpa. I want to eat my favorite fruit today. Here you see, Grandpa is asking that or saying that he is hungry. Rosie is in the kitchen with her friend, Alice. What's your favorite fruit, Grandpa? Asks Rosie. Grandpa walks to the door. We can go and find it. Come with me. Can I come too? Asks Ben. So what is happening here? Rosie and Alice are sitting in the kitchen and she is asking that if she can go with her. And she is also asking about grandpa's favorite fruit. And grandpa walks to the door and he says we can go and find. And he also asks the girls to come, to, to come and join him. Then Ben also asks can he join too? Let's see what happens next. In the van, Grandpa says to Clunk, let's go. Where? Grandpa asks Ben, do you want to go to the store? No, says Grandpa. Clunk starts the van and drives. So remember who is Clunk? Clunk is the Grandpa's robot and also Grandpa has a van. So they are in the van and Grandpa is asking uh, or saying to Clunk, who is the robot, to go to drive the car, to drive the van. Then asks Ben, Ben is asking Grandpa, where? Where do, they, do you want to go? Or do you want to go to a store? He says no. Who says no? Grandpa says no. Then Clunk, the robot, starts the van and drives. You see? Here we go. The grandpa is sitting, Ben and Rosie is sitting, and Clunk is driving the van. Now let's see what happens. 
The van stops in a new place. It's hot here. The children look at the trees and plants. Where are we? Asks Rosie. We are in, we are in a rainforest, says Van. So a van, the van has stopped in somewhere new, which they do not know about. It's hot here and children are looking at the trees. Also, Rosie asks, where are we? Ben says that we are in a rainforest. So you see how big this place is, how huge the place is. This is a rainforest, it's all green, and there are trees and grass. Okay, now let's see what happens. My favorite fruit is the durian, says grandpa. We can find it in the rainforest. And the, he and the children walk in the rainforest and look for a durian. Grandpa points up there. He says, I can see some durians in that tree. So durian is a fruit, a very sweet fruit. And uh, it has little spikes on it. You can see here. And they are hanging from the tree. And he loves durian. Grandpa loves durian. So he wants to get some durian from the rainforest. That's my cat interrupting. Sorry for the interruption. I can climb up and get some durians, says Ben. Clung, go up the tree too, please, says Grandpa. Then the girls hear a noise. What's that? asks Alice. So who is saying to, uh, that he can climb up? Ben says that he can climb up the tree and get some durians. We see here in the picture that there are durians on the tree. And Ben is climbing up the tree to get some fruit. Okay. Then also girls hear the noise. And they are asking, what's that? Let's see what's going on. So these two girls are looking somewhere else from where the noise is coming. Clunk and, uh, and Ben are trying to climb the tree. Now let's see. There is a cage next to a tree, and there is an animal in the cage. What's that? Asks Rosie. It's a baby organton, says Grandpa. He's angry. Some people take animals from the rainforest. They can sell young, young organtons. So what is happening here? They see a cage, and they see an animal inside that cage. And what is that animal? That is young Orrington or a baby Orrington. And what do people do? People catch such animals from the rainforest and they sell it. Okay, now let's move on. Grandpa opens the cage. Soon the Orrington is in Alice's arms. Don't be scared, she says. He wants his mother, says Rosie. Baby Orringtons live with their mothers for years says grandpa. So now grandpa is telling that for years, for many years, baby Orringtons, they live with their mothers. And of course, because the Orrington, the baby Orrington was in the cage, he is really scared. And in the, the moment that grandpa opens the cage, he jumps into Alice's arms. Okay, you see here, baby Orrington, how scared he is. Okay, let's move on. So what happens afterward is that two men walk out of the trees. That's our Orrington, shouts the tall man. Give him to us. No, says Alice, you can't take him out of the rainforest. It's, it's his home. So the moment they took out the Orrington, a tall man comes out of nowhere and he says, this is our Orrington and you cannot take him. So what happens in return? Alice becomes angry. Who has the Orrington? She rescued that Orrington. She is very angry and she says, no, this is his home. This rainforest is his home. You cannot take Orrington illegally and cage it. Okay, you see here how these two who captured the baby Orrington are trying to get it back from Alice and Grandpa. Okay, 
The men are angry. We want that Orrington and you can't stop us, shouts one man. The two men run at Grandpa and the girls. So the men, these two men are very angry and they are shouting that you cannot stop us to take the Orrington back. And Grandpa tries to stop these two to reach Alice. Okay. Then a big durian falls from the tree. It hits the ground close to the man. What's that? Shouts the tall man. I can smell it, says his friend. It smells very bad. Okay, so what happens? The durian, the fruit, it fell from the tree. And it hit the floor, it hit the ground near to these two guys or two men. And it smells really bad. He cannot understand what this smell is. Okay, let's move on. Then two, three, four. A lot of durians hit the ground. Run, shouts the tall, tall man. So immediately, what happens? The tall guy and the other guy, they are hit by many durians from the trees. So not just one. One, two, three, four. Many durians were hitting the floor or the ground. In the tree, Ben has a durian in his hand. We can stop now, he says to Clunk. So Clunk and Durian, you can see uh, Clunk and Ben are throwing durians to these two guys. Uh, they were on the, on the tree. So they tried to stop these two men to, two men to reach the girls. But what about the baby Orrington? Asks Alice. Rosie points and says, look, the mother Orrington is there. The big Orrington is angry. She wants her baby, says Grandpa. So she sees, she sees baby Orrington's mother is there. The mother is angry. And she, she by she, I mean Alice, also asks, what about the baby Orrington? Because she is worried what ha will happen. Uh, to be baby Orrington now. So luckily the mother is over there and she wants her baby back. Rosie is scared. What can we do? She asks. Alice knows. She puts the baby Orrington on the ground. Here, she says to the big Orrington. With her long arms, the mother takes her baby. So Rosie becomes scared and she asks, what should we do? What should we do? And Alice says, I know what I should do. She puts the baby on the ground. And then suddenly, the Orrington's mother takes the baby in her long arms. You can see here in the picture how the baby is in the hands or the arms of the, the mother. And Alice and Rosie are watching and also the grandpa is watching them. Okay, now move on. The Orrington climbs up a tree with her baby. They are happy now, says Alice. Ben and Clunk climb down from the tree. Here's your fruit, Grandpa, says Ben. So the mother climbs up the tree with her baby. They are very happy now, Alice says. Ben and Clunk climb down from the tree. So Ben and the robot Clunk, they come down from the tree and they also bring some fruit, durian for the grandpa. So you see here, Clunk is coming down the, of the tree. Ben is already on the ground and he has durian in his hand. And Alice and Rosie are watching the mother and the baby climbing up the tree. Now you see how smelly the durian is. It has some smell. So grandpa opens the fruit. Rosie puts her hand on her nose. I can't smell, I can smell it, she says. I love durian, say grandpa, but they smell very bad. So yes, durians do smell very bad, but they are very sweet fruit. They are very lovely fruit. They have some uh, sweet uh, plum inside. So you can see grandpa is opening or cutting the durian and they are smelling its smell. It has sharp smell, but it is very sweet fruit. Okay, so look at the activities here. If we want to do in an activity 
For this reading lesson, we have to put a tick or a cross in the box. So if we say, look at the picture, this is a fruit. Yes, this is a fruit. It's right. So we put a tick because it has pineapple, mango, and banana. So these are fruits. This is a kitchen. Does it look like a kitchen? Yes, this is a kitchen. So we also put a tick here. It's true. There is microwave. There is an, an oven and a dining table. This is an apple. No, this is not an apple. This is a banana. So we put a cross here. This is a banana. No, this is not a banana. Banana is this one. This is an apple. So we put an X here. Cross. This is wrong. So banana is this one. This is an apple. Right? Yes or no? Grandpa is hungry? Yes. They have apples and bananas? No. Grandpa wants to eat a banana? No. Grandpa wants to eat his favorite fruit? Yes. Rosie and Alice are in the kitchen? Yes. Clunk says, can I come too? No. Okay. So the next activity I will do in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you are looking for the book, the book is Oxford Imagine 1. Oxford Read and Imagine. And the lesson is Rainforest Rescue. So I hope you enjoyed this reading lesson. And for the beginner student, this is a perfect lesson to practice lis listening, speaking, and reading. So bye. Take care.